Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from around the world. My name is Jeff Hosey. I'm the Managing Director of Pear Trade Finder. And in this quick presentation today, we're going to show you our new May 2022 vintage of our Fast 50 U.S. equities pairs. And most importantly, why you want to have a look at these pairs and understand what they can do for your trading. First and foremost, why do you want to pair trade stocks in the first place? For those of you who don't know, pair trading, as we refer to it, means going long one security and short another security in equal dollar amounts when the two securities are highly correlated and co-integrated. And you, you are doing that trade when they diverge in the expectation that their uh, price ratio will converge. Okay, so if you're worried about the current market environment, and it's changed a lot in the last year, two years. We've got rising interest rates, we've got rampant inflation, we've got war in Europe, a lot of market volatility, stock markets are down 15 to 20% entering bear markets in some cases. Well, don't be worried about that if you use stock pair trading. Using a long short strategy allows you to profit from this market volatility. It allows you to hedge against market risk and a big account drawdown. It gives you a reasonable expectation of generating consistent monthly trading returns. And because of these three things, you, three things, you can stop worrying about Mr. Market. Most importantly, you can trade from anywhere with a broadband connection and do it in less than one hour a day. We've looked at a lot of the research on pair trading over the last 30 years. And we highlight here a quote from a recent study done in 2015 on co-integration as a pair trading selection method for stocks. And that method shows that returns are especially high with monthly excess returns, i.e. returns each month above the market return uh, and including transaction costs has been shown to be greater than at 1.3.38% and going up to about 5% over a period of more than 10 years. Very profound. Uh, findings from that study and show you why you want to pair trade stocks. So what can we do for you? Here at Pair Trade Finder, we have an award-winning pair trading software platform that was developed in 2007 and 2008. It's been in the market for 14 years. And what do we do? We make pair trading stocks easy. Besides our platform, we also provide a video training course, tutorial videos, trade of the month blogs, and our ebook to all our subscribers. But most importantly, we also do the hard work for you to learn to become a consistently profitable pair trader. What do we mean by that? Well, when you subscribe, we handpick and then allow new subscribers to auto load straight into Pair Trade Finder Pro 50 of our top stock pairs. These pairs will generate immediate trading signals for you to review. We call these the Fast 50. And PTF will then semi-auto trade these signals directly into Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation if you use that broker, or you can receive the signals by email and trade them into any brokerage account that you use. So let's drill down a little bit um, more on the Fast 50. What is it all about? As we discussed, these are a curated set of 50 USA stock pairs. In the current version, the new May 2022 uh, vintage, which we launched at the beginning of this week, it includes over 33 industry sectors. There are no repeated tickers, and therefore you get great diversification to, to begin trading pairs out of the gate. These are generated by us over hundreds of hours of backtesting, profitability filtering, and fundamental screening. In the last version, we were looking at over 2,200 companies. And that's what we mean when we say we do the hard work for you. Again, these are auto-loaded into Pear Trade Finder Pro. When you subscribe, you just open your software, you hit a big button here that says auto-load US equities pairs, and these will automatically appear in your watch list and be ready to call uh, immediate trade signals as and when uh, market prices generate these trading signals. As I say, we launched the new vintage at the beginning of this week. It's already had a couple of profitable exits. Here's a list of some of these pairs. You can see them here. And one of them is in trade in this list. We've got Biogen Alumina. That went in trade three days ago and is currently generated $327 of P&L on $5,000 a leg trade size. And when this gets to one standard deviation, that will, will call an exit. So hopefully that will be a profitable exit. We'll see. If you want to see our full pair selection and filtering criteria, here's the web address. You can go and check it out. We believe in full transparency at Pear Trade Finder. Uh, all of our claims, we back them up with audited results. 
So um, I won't dwell too much more on the filtering. I will say that these are all USA stocks, at least $2 billion market cap, and with at least $2 million a day of average daily trading volume. That allows you to make sure that you can short the short leg, uh, that it won't be hard to borrow. Now, let's drill down even further. So you've seen a partial list there of these Fast 50 U.S. equities pairs. But how did they do in back testing? And uh, why did we choose the pairs we chose? Well, in the latest 12-month back test results, and these are till 29th of April, which was last Friday, uh, there, have, there were 139 closed trades. It, uh, the back test generated $36,857 in net profit based on trading at $5,000 a leg. The assumed account equity for doing this was $37,500. And over here, you can, you can see how we go about calculating the assumed account equity. Basically, we assume four to one leverage and uh, about 20% headroom on the average trades outstanding in any month to make sure you have enough account equity to, to handle what's coming at you in any given month. And based on that account equity, the return was 98.3% per annum, averaging out at about 5.9% per month. Again, these are back tests and over the last 12 months. Over the same period, just for comparison, the S&P 500 total return, so capital gains and dividends over the period was 0%. So this portfolio generated Almost, it almost doubled in size, whereas the market returned zero. The win rate on these trades was 91% win rate. The average reward risk was 1.7 times, and each trade lasted on, uh, on median. Median length was about 14 days, 14 uh, calendar days. Okay, so that's about 10 market days. Here's a one-year in-sample backtest results summary. You can go through it in detail. Uh, we, we cover everything you reasonably want to know about how they looked in backtesting and how we go about generating these return assumptions. So let's take an example, Fast 50 pair in this May 2022 vintage. The pair we're going to look at is L3 Harris versus Raytheon. So L3 Harris Technologies, these two screens, by the way, come out of our fundamental screener function, which is uh, a great thing we added last year. On any pair in your watch list, you can just right click and then pull up this fundamental screen to see how the two components of the pair look side by side. L3 Harris Technologies, aerospace and defense technology company, provides mission critical solutions for government and commercial customers worldwide. Uh, here's all of the things they do. Raytheon, again, another aerospace and defense company, provides systems and services for commercial, military, and government customers worldwide. Here's all of the things they do. They're very, very similar businesses. Now, what you want to make sure, and this is one of the key components of our strategy here at PearTrade Finder and why we believe we get consistently successful results, is that you don't just need to look for cor correlated and co-integrated pairs on a mathematical basis. Fundamental correlation is critical. You want to make sure you're trading companies that are fundamentally similar, that their businesses are affected by the same types of elements, supply chain, uh, interest rates, uh, customers, and that what would affect one should, if not equally, similarly affect another. And one way we, we look for that fundamental correlation besides the descriptions of the businesses is to look at all of these different aspects of their financial um, state of affairs and performance and determine if they are sufficiently similar. So first off, they're in the same country. Second off, they're in the same sector. Third off, they're say in the same industry subsector. Then we look at betas, 0.76 for L3 Harris. This is from Finviz, they're showing 1.3. We recheck this beta in Yahoo Finance, it shows 0 0.88. Very important that when you choose two stocks, when you're use, using equal dollar amounts uh, in both legs, you want these betas to be as close as possible. So if we go with the Yahoo Finance beta or calculate your own cross check, we're at almost the same level. Market cap for, and enterprise value for L3 Harris is about 50 billion. Raytheon's about 150, so about three to one. That's definitely within um, our tolerances. Then enterprise value to EBDA, so this is how the market's valuing the EBDA stream from each of these two companies, is almost identical. 
price to book value, how the, vast, the, the assets on the balance sheet are being valued is very similar, 2.46 versus 2.01. Dividend yield of the two companies, it's important when you're shorting because you'll have to pay that dividend if it, if it comes up during the period you're, you're holding the trade. And uh, you'll be receiving another dividend if it's also paid during the time you're holding the trade. You want to make sure these are roughly equal or that they're not too high, that they would distort the results of the trade. And then finally, a feature we added in a couple of years ago, we pull the Zax rank here. Uh, Zax is a great service that basically rates the ability of either of these tickers to generate earnings surprises. And they have the same rating, which suggests that that, that third party is looking at these as a, as a similar, similar set of risk companies. And so when we run this side-by-side -side comparison, we see that in our minds, at least, that these are very fundamentally correlated. And that's very important in our analysis. And every one of these Fast 50 has had this analysis done before they were selected. Let's go into this example in more detail. I'm going to explain to you these four charts. The chart up here on the upper left is the plus minus chart for the last two years. So it relates to this chart on the upper right, which is the ratio. This is the daily price ratio of LHX over RTX. And then the blue line, so that's the green line. Then the blue line is the moving average of that price ratio. And in this, in this set of Fast 50, we're using 60 day lookbacks for the moving average. So that's a 60 day moving average. And what the, the chart on the upper left is showing is every time that this daily price ratio diverges above 2.7 standard deviations, either negative or positive, we call a trade. That's how the Fast 50 are set up. 2.7 plus or minus entry stretch and 1.0 plus or minus exit stretch. So when the price, let's take this trade, it went, uh, this is this trade. So we had a big move up that that called a trade at about 2.7 standard deviations. And then it very quickly reverted back to one standard deviation. And that was our trade. And here you see the entry, here you see the exit. Here's the RSI chart, relative strength index of this price ratio. And you can use this for looking for making sure that your entries are in extremes and also for looking for divergences, which is uh, important for, for increasing probability that the price ratio uh, will revert back to the mean. Okay, those, I know that's fairly complicated. We cover all of that in our training courses. So what did this do? Well, here's the back test. Over two years, there were six trades. It was 65% correlated on average. The co-integration was highly co-integrated. It's a p-value of 0 0.02. And the compound annual growth rate of the capital just left uh, over that whole two years, just in this one pair, would have been 18.7%, with a maximum drawdown of only 2.33%, which is a, a great reward risk. And the gross profit was $2,165, average net profit a trade of about 341. And remember, you're trading 5,000 a leg, at four or five to one leverage. So you've got about 2000 or 2500 of margin at, at work here. So you're looking at about a 16% return on margin uh, of that pair for each one of those trades. And 100% of those trades were winners. Here you have the equity curve. You can see the first trade was this one. Second trade was from here back down. That was this one, a very profitable trade. Third trade, fourth trade, fifth trade, sixth trade. And uh, you can see how each of these developed over the equity curve over the whole two years. So that's a, that's a great example of one of the Fast 50 pairs, L3 Harris versus Raytheon. And again, in our Fast 50, we've done this analysis on all of them and chosen the ones that we see as the highest probability. So those numbers we've shown you, 5.9% uh, a month in a back test over the last 12 months, some pretty impressive trading numbers. Can we prove it? Well. Besides the exhaustive academic research that demonstrates the profitability of this trading strategy, how about some live signals results? As I say, we, we create these vintages about every quarter, usually every two to four months. And we look at their performance you know, over the first month or two after we launch them, because that's when the correlations and co-integrations are freshest. And so how about the last two months live signal results? So out of sample signals that you could have traded, they were available for trading for our last uh, February vintage Fast 50 US stock pairs. There were 24 closed trades. There were 19 winners. That was a 79% win rate. 
there was a 0 0.8 times average reward risk, and that delivered on the nominal account equity an 11.1% net return over those two months, which is 5.4% average per month. So a very good performance. And if you want to see the full analysis of that, please go to this blog post that we we set up about two weeks ago, and that will take you through every single, you know, a list of every one of the closed trades, all of the open positions when we did this analysis, so the open P&L, and uh, show you how you, we calculated all of those return numbers, okay? That was four to one leverage, CFD leverage. What about other sets, live trading results? Well, as we issue these, like once a quarter, more or less, uh, we can look at more of our, our results on some of these sets. Just keep in mind that in-sample backtests are great, but they have limitations. Out-of-sample live signal results in most quantitative trading systems generally tend to deliver only about 50% of the backtested results. Okay, And when we pair trade ourselves, this is critical, and I want everyone to pay attention to this. All of these numbers we're showing here in these ones and in the previous slide and in the backtests, we're showing raw fast 50 signals, but we don't trade raw signals. We filter them and we avoid tracking trades where the divergence is due to fundamental value shifting events, i.e. a merger announcement, uh, a spin-off, uh, CEO resignation, a scandal at the company, a major lawsuit, all of those things we would avoid and would not be included in the stuff that we trade. However, these analyses just take it all and just assume you're trading the raw signals. We can show you, and we do in our, our training materials, how to quickly and easily screen for those types of things. Nevertheless, even just based on the raw signals, the performance of the top 50, top 30 in our fast 50 uh, the, has been impressive when we've measured it. So other live out of sample res results, plus 17.3% in the first eight weeks, plus 9.3 in five weeks, plus 11.6 in three weeks. Here are the blog postings where we gain, we take you through trade by trade, how that happened, and you can audit those, should you so wish to. What do our customers say? I mean, these are great results, so you would think that there'd be a lot of people saying, isn't this great software? Well, we've pulled a few quotes here from unsolicited feedback that we've received from our customers. You can take the time, if you like, and read through this on the slide, but I will highlight one that I really, I always like to highlight, and that's this over here. Uh, just to say how delighted I am with your product. For the first time in 10 years as a trader, I am consistently profitable. If I can sort out my discipline and stick with the signals, the results would be even better. Yours eternally grateful. That's the kind of thing we work for here at Pair Trade Finder. We're all about that. We're all about teaching you how to become a consistently profitable pair trader and generate substantial uh, recurring income from your trading. So last slide is a bit disingenuous, but I'm going to put it in here as food for thought. We're talking about a five, six percent return per month. That's a big number. If anyone could achieve that every month, it would be quite extraordinary. But let's take this as a, just a mental exercise. Let's say you started with a thirty thousand dollar trading account at the beginning of the year and you were able to achieve five point four percent per month return compounding. What happens to your account? Well, by the end of the first year, you'd be at 56,000. But as we know, the effect of compounding is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. By the end of the second year, you'd be at 106. The end of the fifth year, you'd be at 707,000. And by the end of the 10th year, 16.6 million. That assumes you can compound at 5.4% every month. Okay, that's pretty disingenuous, but all we're trying to show here is that if you have this skill set that can allow you to generate positive returns on, on uh, most of your months of trading and you keep that money in your account and you continue to do it for a number of years, you can have some pretty important impact on your wealth. And Pear Trade Finder Pro can be managed again in as little as one hour per day and many days much less than that. Many days is five minutes. And once you've learned your craft, this is something you can do for the rest of your life at least as long as the markets exist as they do in their current form and technology. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we, we have a disclaimer that we're forced to show here, and I think it's very important you see this. It's uh, trading, trading is risky. 
don't ever trade more than you can afford to lose. Uh, none of what we're showing you here is financial advice. It's all for educational and illustrative purposes only. And the most important thing, if you're going to undertake anything like this, is take financial advice from a registered advisor. And uh, it's your money and your risk. So happy trading, everyone.